Hey and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Rupert and this is my full review for Netflix's original South Korean series that's six episodes long called Hellbound. This is a non-spoiler review, I will be talking about the ending in a separate video uh, tomorrow after it's launched, giving people time to have watched it. But for now, let me know your thoughts, give me a thumbs up. I don't know why I was so, so excited about that, thumbs up, thumbs up, uh, and subscribe if you haven't. Let's jump in. Unearthly beings deliver bloody condemnation, sending individuals to hell and giving rise to a religious group founded on the idea of divine justice. So this is based on a Manwa Korean comic. And uh, I thought the comic itself was very interesting. I have read all 64 chapters of volume one. You can get volume one in a complete volume. It's now out on Amazon and Dark Horse Comics, so you can find it there. The first three episodes kind of introduce you into the world of what is happening. It sets up a little bit of the law, but you don't have any questions answered. That's the first three episodes. The second half of the first season um, sets up what you're going to be doing as a viewer, who you're going to be following. There is a, a family unit that you're following and you're rooting for as these beans, like a face, appears to random people or seemingly random people who have sinned supposedly and uh telling them which day they're gonna die and it all seems random from old people young people um it just picks and some gives years away and some gives days away all very very soon and so amongst the episodes you get to see how these weird gorilla like beans with like sinew for muscles sometimes the cg isn't great but for the most part they are terrifying especially what they do to your body and then taking your soul or doing some light thing that looks like they're taking your soul we can but surmise we don't actually know it doesn't actually tell you a lot and i would say that part of the story is really interesting but where they focus on is the cult and really, this is a look at what would happen to your world if Bean started taking uh, you and judging you for your sin, what would happen to the world? So rather than give you answers as to who these creatures are, it's seeing what happens. And I thought that was interesting, but I definitely wanted more lore. It strings you along for the six episodes and you don't really get to have any answers. In fact, there is an end credit sequence that gives, just gives you more questions. Um, and so I was very frustrated with that part of it. I really wanted to know, to know more. I will talk about the ending in a separate video, but that part for me was very frustrating. However, there is a tenseness to each of the episodes because of how society degrades. Eventually, this cult seems like it's basically in control of everything. We have the cops kind of bending to their will. We have these families and people afraid of even mentioning that they might have uh, sin in their lives. And uh, this cult that has another group of people kind of with them are taking law into their own hands, especially if you've done something wrong in their own eyes. And it just watched society slip and slip and slip into a very very dark moral ambiguity which i think is a it's basically just a, a telling a way to tell a story of what could possibly happen and you watch as a fly in the wall in horror going oh my gosh this is just getting worse and worse and worse definitely characters that you will enjoy i think Part of the reason why this actually works and flows well is because we have the director from Train to Busan and he knows how to um, basically get you into a place where you, you're feeling the tenseness, not necessarily feeling the monsters or seeing them yet, but building up that tension. And I felt like that happened. So whenever there is a monster, you were, you, were, you were already built up on that tension because of what society is going through. Don't know who you can trust. You're feeling... Um, pissed off about the cult and how people can be so blindsided it, it builds up all these questions which i think was a nice kind of way to do it but i can't help but think oh man i just i really wanted more answers don't want all the answers just a couple that kind of make sense give me some idea where you're going with this more like the supernatural stuff the entities is like a MacGuffin to use to have a look at what would happen in this petri dish say you are god and you take a few of these things and you're watching you just want to see what would happen what happens if i introduce this monster and supposedly says that they are judging sin let's see how people react to that that's what this series is 
it's interesting that the manhwa, the comic style, seems like storyboards for the series. Definitely lovingly created into the series. I like the manhwa. I think it's uh, a, a beautiful comic story. Um, the translation that I read, I don't think was the best. I don't think I got the full extent of what the creator of the story was trying to get across. But for the most part, I think it was beautifully done. I like the artwork and the characters, but I definitely see like some of those shots from the comic translated into uh, this like as still shots as storyboards so I think you can be relaxed if you're a huge fan of the man mind going I hope it's as good I think it I think the story at least has been translated definitely some left out because there's 64 kind of chapters in the first volume and uh, only six episodes for the first season so that's what Netflix does especially when they're kind of taking on a new story they want to see whether it works if it gets popular I don't know this if this will be as popular as some of the recent Netflix uh, South Korean series, but I did enjoy it. It's not up there in my top five. It's in my top ten, uh, but not my top five. I enjoyed it. I think had they given us some more supernatural stuff or some of the lore that they kind of teased you with in the trailer, it's it's kind of. Uh, <laughs> I think it's it's a little bit of a lie in the trailer of the, of the amount of supernatural stuff you get. It's a lot of talking heads in between the supernatural stuff. Uh, there's a lot of cult stuff going on in between the supernatural stuff. You can't just have all the supernatural stuff, but I wanted to, to, to know more about these entities, where they come from, that kind of thing. But you don't get to know anything. So I'm going to give this uh, three and a half Nicolas Cage's out of five. I enjoyed it. It's not quite great, but it is very much interesting and it keeps your interest going. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this series when you see it. Uh, what did you think about that ending? I'm going to do a separate video for that. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.